Hi guys! Today it's time to show you some more progress in the SIL 137 project. So let's get started. First I painted the 3D printed trailer frame parts. So I disconnected the wiring and applied the first coat of filler. I also glued the front bumper to the frame. Then I applied putty. After sanding and some more filler, it was time for the black paint. Then I screwed the frame back together and reinstalled the wiring. Finally, the motor area was painted in black. And this is the result with the wiring, the Vetico compatible kingpin and the oil tubes. This is the hydrostatic motor. No, of course it's electric. Next step, scale looking rims. The stock rims were really really ugly, so I designed new ones in Fusion 360. This part of the hub is only for 3D printing. It will be removed later on. There is a version with hub and air tube, as well as one without the hub. It is intended for the spare wheels. Then I 3D printed this thing in PETG without supports and with adaptive layers. The result was pretty good. Only a bit of stringing. It also did fit perfectly. So it was time to deburr this thing and to apply some filler. The result was perfect. Time to print the remaining 9 pieces. This is how I removed the integrated support piece. This is a comparison between the version with hub, without hub and the original rim. These are the colors I used. First I primered. Then I filtered. And finally I applied the black paint. The result was just amazing. And here you can see some more comparison pictures between the new rim and the stock rim. And this is the spare tire mechanism in action. Then it was time for a little test drive. As you can see, it's heavily loaded with 4.6 kg of marble blocks. The trailer suspension is bottomed out, but otherwise it's working perfectly. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming episodes. Bye!